this video we will be going we will be solving example 5.1 and the problem reads a baseball strikes the catcher's glove with a horizontal velocity of 40 meters per second the mass of the baseball is 150 grams the displacement of the baseball from the time it makes contact with the glove until the time it stops is 8 centimeters there are three parts to this problem part a how much kinetic energy does the ball have before it strikes the glove? Part B, how much work does the catcher do on the ball when he catches it? And part C, is the work done by the catcher positive or negative? We will start with part A, which asks how much kinetic energy the ball has before it strikes the glove. The important thing to remember for this part is the kinetic energy equation, which reads, kinetic energy equals one half mass times velocity squared. Now for this problem we have to remember that uh, for the kinetic energy mass is going to be in kilograms so we have to convert 150 grams to 0.15 kilograms and then we can just plug in the rest of the numbers to the problem. So it's one half times point one five kilograms times the velocity squared, which is forty meters per second. The only thing left to do is to plug the numbers into a calculator and solve. So and we get as an answer 120 joules. the answer for part A. Now part B asks how much work the catcher does on the ball when he catches it. For this we have to remember that work equals the change in kinetic energy. Which can be further written out as the final kinetic energy minus the initial. Now since the catcher stops the ball once he catches it, we know that the final kinetic energy equals zero. And we just calculated the initial kinetic energy to be 120. So we plug those both into the equation. And we have to remember that the answer is going to be negative 120 joules. And now for part C, the question asks if the work done by the catcher is positive or negative. And we know that we got a negative answer for part B. And this is because the work done by the catcher decreases the kinetic energy of the ball. So therefore, we know the answer to part C is negative. 